I'm Jeff Notkin, meteorite hunter, meteorite specialist, and half of television's Meteorite Men, and I'm here to tell you about some of the lots we have on offer at Heritage Auctions, July 22nd, the Jeff Notkin Collection of Meteorites, part two. Well, in the world of meteorite collecting, there aren't many space rocks that are as beloved as the piece that I'm holding. This is a Gibeon from Namibia in West Africa. It was first discovered in the 1800s. And Gibeon is really popular among collectors and also watchmakers and jewelers, I might add, for multiple reasons. First of all, most obviously, it typically has fantastic sculptural shapes. Look at the, these amazing angles, ridges and points that have formed on this. It's just a beautiful dis display piece and it looks good in any orientation. It's one of those meteorites where you can move it around every couple of weeks and pretend that you just have a brand new piece. And typically, Gibeon also displays a really lovely patina, an orangey bronze color. That's the, the natural tone that it acquired while lying in the hot deserts of West Africa for many thousands of years. And finally, it's very, very stable. So this is about 93% iron with the remainder being nickel and trace elements. But despite its mineralogical makeup, this meteorite will never rust. It's as stable as anything, which is why it's very coveted by jewelers and watchmakers who like to cut up Gibeons and etch the interior slices to use in fabricating things. Of course, this piece is much too nice to cut that up. You'd never put that in the sole, would you?